dear students uh, this is our 30th lecture on bio organic chemistry and today uh, we will discuss uh, about the chemistry of uh, cyclodextrins cyclodextrins uh, they have been defined by stoddart as uh, all purpose molecular containers for organic inorganic organometallic and metallo organic compounds that may be neutral cationic anionic or even radical so basically these are uh, macrocyclic oligo sugars oligo means oligosaccharides uh, which are of uh, low uh, molecular weight polysaccharides uh, which are uh, mainly composed of uh, either uh, six numbered uh, glucose units or uh, seven glucose units or eight glucose units and uh, if there are six uh, glucose units which are uh, clubbed together to give this type of macrocyclic structure when uh, this type of cyclodextrin is called as alpha cyclodextrin if there are seven glucose units which come together to give us this oligosaccharide then we call that as the beta cyclodextrin similarly if there are eight glucose units which are clubbed together to give us the oligosaccharide then we call that as the gamma, uh, gamma cyclodextrin uh, as the compound now basically what happens is because of this uh, the number of glucose uh, molecules which are clubbed together for example here 6 here 7 and here 8 because of the that the size of the cavity present uh, in this uh, molecule varies so this has a smaller cavity than this than this and based on that we get inclusion compounds formed due to the presence of this uh, polymeric uh, structure of uh, polyhydroxy compounds which are present inside the molecule so uh, basically uh, the molecules uh, smaller molecules uh, uh, which may be organic inorganic organometallic metallo organic they can be contained in these activities and uh, these cyclodextrins uh, they will act as containers molecular containers to have different types of applications in the field of uh, chemistry biotechnology packaging technology food technology there are so many applications of uh, cyclodextrin uh, containing uh, molecular compounds so uh, basically uh, each cyclodextrin uh, that has a truncated cone structure like this where uh, the two phases are there uh, one is primary phase and other is secondary phase so uh, as far as uh, primary phase is concerned this narrow phase is called as the primary phase whereas uh, this wider phase is called as the secondary phase uh, the narrow phase uh, uh, is having this uh, primary hydroxyl groups present CH2OH group which is present carbon 6 and OH that is present on the primary uh, part of the uh, cyclodextrin. So and similarly uh, these secondary OH groups at carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 they are present on the secondary phase of the uh, cyclodextrin. So because of this, uh, this these parts they are hydrophilic in correct. So uh, therefore uh, all hydrophilic uh, molecules they can get attached to these portions of the molecule whereas uh, interior of the cavity this contains uh, H3, H5 protons and uh, lone pair of uh, glycosidic oxygen atom uh, which is present uh, as hydroxyl that is also uh, in the inside uh, cavity of uh, the cyclodextrin so uh, because of this uh, the inner part is hydrophobic uh, in nature 
and uh, the uh, as i have told you uh, that uh, because of the number of uh, glucose units present the size of the cavity varies in alpha beta and uh, gamma cyclodextrin uh, the inner cavity diameter in case of alpha cyclodextrin is 500 uh, pm uh, whereas uh, uh, in case of beta cyclodextrin it is uh, 620 pm and in gamma cyclodextrin it is 800 uh, pm approximately so you can see that as we move uh, from alpha to beta to gamma the uh, size of the inner cavity increases so therefore uh, we can accommodate bigger and bigger molecules as we move from alpha to beta to gamma cyclo text uh, these are uh, some of the common properties of, of alpha beta and gamma uh, cyclodextrins as i have already told you the number of glucose units present in these is six seven and eight whereas uh, similarly molecular weight of alpha is uh, 972 beta is 1134 and gamma is 1296 and uh, uh, size of the inner cavity i have already told you and outer diameter similarly because the number of glucose units is less over here as we move from alpha to beta to gamma the uh, outer diameter also goes on increasing uh, in the case of alpha beta and gamma cyclodextrins then uh, volume of the cavity also increases as the size of uh, size uh, of the inner cavity or outer diameter increases then uh, melting point range is almost same in all these uh, uh, alpha cyclodextrin is 255 to 260 this is 255 to 265 and this is 240 to 245 so uh, on the basis of uh, melting point uh, uh, dis uh, to make distinction is uh, not uh, so accurately done then uh, this is alpha d not a d uh, alpha means uh, the optical activity alpha d uh, of these uh, cyclodextrins uh, is different so alpha it is uh, 150 plus minus 0 0.5 here it is 162.5 177.4 so on the basis of this also we can differentiate between alpha beta and gamma cyclo text so then uh, surface tension is uh, same in all the cases and uh, water molecules which can be uh, accommodated in the uh, cavity of uh, these uh, cyclo text here as the inner uh, cavity uh, is uh, smaller in size number of molecules which can be accommodated is 6 here it is 11 here it is 17 which is uh, uh, in consistency with the, the size of the cavity present in these different cyclodextrins then uh, cyclodextrin and their derivatives they show catalytic activities uh, which may be moderate to high but in some cases uh, the catalytic activity is uh, uh, as good as uh, several hundred thousand times more in comparison to uh, other uh, chemicals available so because of this high activity uh, there have been attempts uh, in mimicking any enzyme uh, with the cyclodextrin so uh, mimicking uh, of uh, cyclodextrin in place of some enzymes uh, have been many examples there uh, one of the most common example is uh, ribonuclease a catalytic activity which is uh, cyclodextrins they have also shown a similar activity which is shown by ribonuclease a catalytic activity so uh, for uh, most of the uh, enzyme action of ribonuclease a i have covered in lecture 14 and link for that has been uh, given in uh, over here so basically what happens is uh, that ribonuclease a uh, uses uh, histidines uh, as uh, two histidines as the active sites on the enzyme which are used for the hydrolysis of amidic linkage 
and uh, if we uh, modify the cyclodextrin with uh, same number of uh, histidine molecules and then we come up, uh, compare the activity of cyclodextrin uh, substituted cyclodextrins with uh, histidines with ribonucleus a uh, ri uh, ribonucleus a enzyme then we can mimic that cyclodextrin in place of ribonucleus a enzyme activity Similarly, uh, there are other application of uh, cyclodextrin as artificial enzyme uh, which has already been covered under lecture 27 uh, under artificial enzyme. So use of uh, cyclodextrins as enzyme mimics in artificial enzymes has already been covered over lecture 27. Then in addition to uh, enzyme mimicking uh, the cyclodextrins they have number of uh, application other applications uh, in the field of packaging technology, textile industry, food technology, in case of molecular devices and then uh, these uh, uh, cyclodextrins they can also be used as uh, solubilizing agents then they have uh, application in cosmetic industry or toiletry also there are some uh, uh, applications of uh, cyclodextrin so in case of uh, packaging technology uh, the cyclodextrin uh, containing complexes molecular complexes with other atoms uh, they are used as uh, containers and uh, wrapping material for food stuff materials then they have been used for antibacterial cooking sheets and trays uh, they are manufactured uh, of cyclodextrin based materials so uh, that is the application in packaging technology in uh, textile industry uh, this is used for keeping sequin fiber moist because uh, water uh, can be absorbed by cyclodextrin so they can keep the fiber moist and uh, then they are used for reducing orders in uh, fibers by adding uh, plant extracts uh, and these plant extracts they can be retained by the cyclodextrin in their cavity then uh, they can retain antibacterial compounds in their uh, cavities uh, which can be used in fibers so uh, these kinds of applications uh, the they have been there in textile industry for cyclodextrins then in food technology uh, there are many applications of cyclodextrins and uh, important among these is that uh, fish oil and uh, cyclodextrin complex uh, that has been processed uh, into tablets and soft capsules uh, which are now available in the market as dietary supplements so uh, uh, cyclodextrin based fish oil uh, is an application of food technology which is now available uh, in the market then uh, uh, solubilization by powdering uh, the cyclodextrin inclusion complexes so uh, flavor com compounds uh, such as uh, apple uh, flavor or citrus fruit flavor or plum flavor or spices uh, such as uh, allspice cinnamon garlic ginger herbs uh, peppermint basil all these uh, flavors they can be uh, included in the cyclodextrin activity as inclusion complexes and uh, they are now available in the market uh, for uh, powdering uh, these uh, flavors uh, with cyclodextrin so cyclodextrin complexes with these flavors are now available in the market uh, then uh, in molecular devices also uh, different types of cyclodextrins they can be used uh, they are used in self assembled molecular machines which are based on cyclodextrin uh, so applications can be logic gates in computer technology sensing devices and then uh, these cyclodextrins they can also be used in bioengineering in addition to this uh, the 
cyclodextrins they have been used in electrocatalysis and bioelectrocatalysis also uh, as an application then uh, these uh, cyclodextrins uh, they have been used for solubilizing flavonoids isoflavonoids and raspberry ketones so uh, they uh, the cyclodextrins they act as solubilizing agents for these types of compounds as inclusion uh, component in the cyclodextrins and these uh, cyclodextrins they form more stable soluble complexes with caffeine and catechin also so uh, in case of tea also uh, they are used as solubilizing agents then in cosmetic technology and toiletry uh, these uh, different applications of cyclodextrins have been found uh, for example in cosmetics uh, the cyclodextrins they are used to solubilize fragrances uh, similar to what we have seen in case of food technology application where flavor components was used and here fragrances they are used as inclusion compounds in cyclodextrins then uh, they suppress volatility of these fragrances when they are solubilized in cyclodextrins and uh, this allows perfume containing products to be uh, sprayed as micro powders otherwise uh, because of low volatility fragrances they can uh, not be uh, applique uh, they cannot find application as powders but because of the presence of uh, these cyclodextrins they can be sprayed as micro powders and they can also be used as stabilizers emulsifiers and deodorants in skin care products also so uh, these are some of the uh, recent uh, common applications of cyclodextrins and uh, this uh, cyclodextrin field is a more recent field and many more applications now are being uh, reported for cyclodextrin uh, containing inclusion compounds in the pharmaceutical industry also so they are being uh, reported for uh, uh, drug delivery also now some uh, applications they have been reported as uh, drug delivery carriers uh, these oligosaccharides thank you very much